Good day, everyone. Welcome to Science for Junior High School with Merivet Education Center. This series is for Matayum 1. In this lesson, you will learn how to classify matter as element, compound, or mixture, and use techniques in separating mixtures into substances. The three pictures show different matters with different classifications. The first one is gold nuggets, which is an element. The second one is sugar cubes, which is a compound. And the last one is a bowl of cereal with milk and fruits, which is a mixture. So what is the difference between an element, compound, and mixture? Look at the two pictures. Which is a pure substance? Which one is a mixture? Let's find out. Matter can be a pure substance or a mixture. A pure substance can be an element or compound. A mixture can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. So how are they different from each other? Do you have any idea? Let's find out some more. Pure substance is made up of only one type of atom or one type of molecule. A substance can either be an element or compound. Table salt, which has the chemical formula of NaCl, is a compound. It is made up of the elements sodium, Na, and chloride, Cl. Potassium, magnesium, nitrogen, and carbon are examples of elements because they only contain one type of atom each. All of these are elements. Terrific! Can you name some elements that you know? Fantastic! Carbon dioxide and sodium chloride are all compounds made up of different elements that have chemically reacted, forming a new substance. Compounds do not necessarily look like the elements that formed it. It's actually a result of a chemical reaction or bond, just like sodium and chlorine. When you mix them together, the result is sodium chloride, or salt, which means that it formed entirely new material, which is the salt itself. All of these are compounds. Terrific! Can you name some compounds that you know? Fantastic! What do you see in the picture? Yes, wonderful! You see different colors of candies mixed together. It is a mixture of candies that are not chemically combined and can be separated mechanically, such as by sorting them in different colors. A mixture can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Cola or soda is a homogeneous mixture of carbonated water and sugar. You can't see the individual substance that made up the cola, but the mixture of cereal, milk, and fruits in a bowl is a heterogeneous mixture because you can see the individual substances of this mixture. Do you now understand the difference between a homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture? Excellent! Let's review. Are you ready? Complete what I will say, okay? Look at the chart as a clue. Listen carefully. 
Number one, matter can be generally classified into two categories, namely pure substance and mixture. Did you get it right? Excellent. Next, are you ready? Listen carefully. Number two, pure substance can either be compounds and elements. Did you get it right? Wonderful. Next, are you ready? Listen carefully. Number three, mixture can be categorized as either homogeneous and heterogeneous. Did you get it right? Fantastic. Wow, it seems like you are closely following the lesson. Let's keep moving. Here's some more. Look at the picture as I say the name and say if it is a mixture, compound, or element. Do you understand? Example, if I say aluminum, you say element. Got it? Now let's begin. Milk. Mixture. Do we have the same answer? Excellent. Copper. Element. Do we have the same answer? Excellent. Air. Mixture. Do we have the same answer? Excellent. Water. Compound. Do we have the same answer? Excellent. Juice. Mixture. Do we have the same answer? Excellent. Calcium carbonate. Compound. Do we have the same answer? Excellent. Wow, it seems like you are closely following the lesson. Let's keep moving. Do you remember what mixture is? Yes, it is made up of two or more substances that are either physically or chemically mixed. So how do we separate a mixture? Do you know some techniques and methods in separating mixtures? Let's learn some more. Are you ready? The first technique is paper chromatography. Do you know what is involved in this technique? It uses paper strips or sheets as the absorbent stationary phase through which a solution flows. Did you get it? Great. Here are things involved in this technique. First, the mobile phase in which mixture is dissolved in a fluid. Second, is the stationary phase in which there will be a material that will hold another material as an absorbent sheet. Here's another technique in separating mixtures. It's called filtration. Do you know what is involved in this technique? Now this method is for separating an insoluble solid from a liquid. Let's look at one sample. When a mixture of sand and water is filtered, the sand stays behind in the filter paper and it becomes the residue. The water passes through the filter paper and it becomes the filtrate. Isn't that amazing? Yes, you have just separated the water from the sand. Now you got it, right? Another technique in separating mixture is evaporation. It is used to separate out homogeneous mixtures where there is one or more dissolved salts. So how does this work? The method drives off the liquid components from the solid components. The process typically involves heating the mixture until no more liquid remains because all of the liquid evaporated and the remaining part is just the solid. Do you know that this is how salt is made, which you oftentimes use in cooking to have a better taste in food? Another interesting technique in separating mixture is distillation. Have you heard of this technique? This involves heating a mixture and bringing it to boiling point. The substance with the lowest boiling point will start evaporating. And when it reaches the condenser, it will start cooling down 
and becomes a distillate, which is now a pure substance without the solute. You want to try it for yourself? Or maybe later, because we need to learn another technique. Are you ready? Let's go. Fractional distillation is a process by which individual components can be separated using heat from a given mixture. Fractional distillation is the separation of a mixture into its component parts or fractions. Chemical compounds are separated by heating or by heating them into a temperature at which one or more fractions of the mixture will vaporize, just like heating ethanol plus water solution. Ethanol vapor condenses in the condenser or cooling chamber. The boiling points of each component in the mixture determine the order of separation. Magnetism is another technique of separating mixture. It simply involves the use of magnets. For example, if you have a mixture of iron fillings and sand and you want to separate them all, all you need is to hover a magnet over the mixture and the magnetic materials will start drifting into the magnetic bar. Simple procedure, right? Try it later if you have some magnets at home. The last technique is using a separation funnel. This is useful in separating two immiscible liquids with two different densities. The liquid with higher density starts to settle at the bottom of the funnel. And once you open the tap, the more dense liquid starts flowing down. And now you just separated the two liquids from each other. Now get your smartphone and scan the QR code to review some vocabulary you have just learned earlier. Thank you, and make sure to answer worksheet number two.